it is known everywhere in what is commonly called a race what is known as a race that the one who reaches the end the finish line first is declared the winner they're said to be number one and therefore they get the reward they get the prize they get the medal the honors the accolades so on and so forth it's the one who reaches the end the first that gets this and it could very well be said that this is exactly what the human race is constantly seeking to be the first to reach the end this is quite obvious if it's looked at with any kind of honesty how many are searching for the end of the week so that they can have fun on the weekend the end of the month so they can reach their paycheck the end of the relationship that one no longer enjoys so they can find another new one the end of the project someone's working on so they can start another one because they're bored of the one that they're working on just constantly searching for endings and of course that's exactly what this system of death is all about is about the continuity of that search to create another goal to chase after to chase after the tail of the dog which is the devil's tail obviously that everyone is caught in to some degree or another that's just a fact it's a constant searching for endings for that finish line commerce is the most obvious example business is always seeking its end always seeking that finish mark all the time it's always pushing for the dead lines absolutely the dead lines the lines that are constantly pulling up the dead the debt searching them out over and over and over again constantly accumulating more of the debt more of these dead notes obviously in relation to the monetary aspect of things but in terms of a race well that's what it's always been said that's what a race is the one who reaches the finish line is first you win but has one really won anything when they've reached death because that's the end of the individual human race that really everyone is in pursuit of whether they realize it or not this can be denied but there's a constant search for endings every single day every day that one goes to work how many are just staring at the clock or at the watch that they're wearing just waiting for the end the deadline the end of the day they can't wait for it to be over they can't wait to reach the finish line of the day absolutely but still so many try to convince themselves in their slavery state that they still love this system and the things in it but can't wait for the endings of things all the time it's a strange contradiction isn't it of course when related to the actuality or the truth of who is number 1 legitimately well it's no one no one is number 1 in the human race that's very accurate another way of abbreviating the word number is to spell it out as n and o with a period at the end so it actually just reads as no so to say number 1 is to actually say no one that would indicate a nobody So no one is number 1 or a nobody is in point of fact number 1 in the human race because the one who actually 
doesn't lose is the one who doesn't race at all, who's not interested in any of this human race, which always meets that deadline, that ending, and doesn't win a damn thing. Not at all. So who's doing that? Who's not wanting to participate in this human race? Because every time death, the debt collector, comes to collect its payment for the sin suit that everyone's wearing, well, it says to you, well, you came so close, but still you lose. That's exactly why in the word close, there's the word lose. Just take out the letter C. Do you see? C lose. So close, but yet so far. Because one was still in the labyrinth of the mind, which is death. They never reached the heart. They never reached the heart, and that's where one needed to go to become no one, to become a nobody. And of course, when one reaches the heart, one realizes the absolute stupidity of such ideas as winning against others getting rewards and accolades for such stupidity, such absurdity, creating competition to run around in a circle. Oh, look, I, I beat that other person. I was faster. I made it first to the deadline. Yeah, congratulations. You did it. You're going to get a prize. It's so ridiculous. And, of course... That's also what this system is all about. The whole point of today's message as well is that this sin suit, this devil's meat construct of imprisonment that every last one of us is caught inside of, imprisoned by this cellular deformity Frankenstein shit monster, well, it has all kinds of of surprises absolutely that's one's door prizes that they collect upon entry and you don't know when you're going to receive these door prizes within this existence that each of us has and there's all kinds of prizes i mean let's let's just list a few that are very possible i mean those listening, you might even have some of these prizes that you've already collected. Let's see. Well, we have, well, Alzheimer's. That's, there's a prize. Surprise! You have Alzheimer's now. Are you surprised? Or how about gout? Asthma? Leukemia? Lots of people have migraines. That's a, that's a common door prize. Some people have migraines every single day, and pretty extreme ones. Well, congratulations on that door prize that the master of hell has given that shit suit that you're wearing. Tumors. Well, just like the tumors that are being created all over the earth, the garbage landfills. All kinds of different tumors, for sure. I mean, the list is is deep dementia diabetes uh, tonsillitis someone can have a stroke how about ulcers or osteoarthritis for sure there's just so many the list just is endless and not to forget obviously the big c cancer which is the complete reflection of everything that this system is about. Absolutely, cancer is the big C. It's the big surprise. So many, so many get that, that prize as a door prize. And of course, death and its minions will say, well, it's, that's genetics. <laughs> you go, yeah, exactly, it's genetics because... 
this death suit, this Frankenstein shit monster, absolutely is a deformity, a genetic deformity. So yeah, it's all part of the door prizes, including cancer, that so many have to contend with. And any excuse can be pulled out. Yeah, what someone eats, absolutely. There's all kinds of shit food, everything's being destroyed. GMOs, chemicals being sprayed, soil degradation, pollution everywhere, just on and on. Yeah, for sure. The food one eats, the water one drinks, all these can lead to so many surprises in this death suit. Just tons and tons of them. Many which were collected right at the door, right upon entry. Definitely, some are born into these situations. Down syndrome, there's, there's one that many are just born into immediately upon entry. Congratulations on that door prize that Hell's Master has delivered, foisted upon those individuals suffering through that. Lots of circus door prizes, absolutely. That's the point, that's what... This message is all about, and as many are seeking other prizes, they're running their races and seeking the end of those races constantly, which is, of course, goal-seeking, which is part of the whole jail system. Yeah, again, the anagram of goal is jail, just spelled a little differently. That's all, and it's still a correct spelling. Just with a G instead, for sure. So, it's understood that many listening are contending with these prizes, these surprises. Everyone has had some kind of surprise in their existence. Even what one just calls a cold or flu. Runny nose, whatever. Diarrhea. I mean, the sicknesses just go on and on. The list is practically endless. One doesn't even need to try because this is reincarnation in the carnival. And just like any carnival, yeah, it's all about getting prizes. Absolutely. So hopefully everyone's enjoying them or the ones to to come with the time that's left one never knows any of these things could be just around the corner so much to look forward to so much it's just a perfect perfect formulation this cellular prison suit well of course it's the most horrendous creation ever but whatever one wants to tell themselves, whatever factor of insulation is going to work, as was noted in the last message, to alleviate one's concern about the truth. Just one has to tell themselves a story, a piece of fiction, and then all of that bad stuff just disappears. Just focus on the positive, man. Just do that and it... It's all good, dude. Absolutely, yeah. That's that's all one needs to do. Just read some more of that material that these New Age type authors have diarrheaed forth from their pens, from their typing stations, and had their publishers eschew upon the public so that they could Go to the positive and forget about, yeah, what is being called the prizes of this system. And there's so many. And the human race, yeah, it's it's running its race and everyone's getting so close, but yet so far. I mean, that 18-inch journey from head to heart, it's pretty long. It's a long journey. It's It's because it's a labyrinth in the mind. It's... It's understood why it's so hard for everyone to escape 
that labyrinth prison and actually find the heart so that one can forget about being a loser in this system and then find the truth which is the heart and make that 18 inch journey finally and forget about this ugly human race yeah the other aspect of course all these ideas about what color one's skin is as if you actually believe and so many do that you are that as a race you're your you're the skin color you happen to find yourself in in whatever prison suit that you're wearing during this reincarnation during this particular incarnation it's absurd and of course it creates so much more division among everyone which is also the point it's it's divide and conquer just like competition is more divide and conquer that includes yeah even things as simple as races Olympic Games my country versus your country and people still conceptualize that this type of ideology doesn't ultimately lead to war of course it does it goes right back to when one is in school my school versus your school one is trained very early on to see others as an enemy and be in competition against them that's also the point does one see that does one still want to be a participant at all in that ugliness that putridness it's all interconnected every last bit of it nothing is separate even in the wrong ideas it's all connected but in one's haste to keep running forward keep moving in that same singular direction of the dead the lifeless ones the inertia yeah just keep focusing on that forward movement marching towards one's ultimate demise thinking that things in this system are where all the meaning is found it's completely a putrid vision and as was just pointed out there's all kinds of circus prizes to be won when the individual and the collective are seeking to be first in everything always trying to climb the ladder or be at the top of the heap in whatever way one can and that's what so many do if they realize well I'm not going to be world famous or I'm not going to be at the top of the heap in business but maybe I can do that in my community or even in my neighborhood and if not in my neighborhood then perhaps in my household wherever one's hubris believes that power can be found over others even if it's just a few even if it's over family members there's all kinds of ugliness to be found in the ego in these ways as well there's this idea of hierarchy everywhere one always seeking to be above others trying to level others down that are perceived as weaker or lesser cut them down insult someone to raise one's own self-esteem one's own perception of their vanity or whatever this again social media has demonstrated and proved out over and over and over again to a very high degree that's absolutely what many are seeking out 
And if they can't find it there, one gets busy looking elsewhere. That's just, that's just a fact. So if one is done with these surprises or the potential surprises, then you're going to be ready to say goodbye to the circus. Absolutely and definitively. You're going to be ready to hang up your costume for the last time. No questions asked. Absolutely ready and willing. No hesitation whatsoever. Done. I'm done with this shit. And if you're not, because you're just having the greatest time ever, best of luck to you. Best of luck. All of eternity and all of creation is observing every last individual, by the way. And as was mentioned, something I'm still going to get into is the vision test. It's not just a single test that happens once on one day. It's a constant test. So when one makes their statements and declarations to eternity, which involves action, well, that's a pretty big deal, and especially at this moment. That's why it said, what one states right now? Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, these are not just some empty statements one is making when they say they love things like slaughterhouses, as was mentioned yesterday, or they're fine with that. Yeah, these things are brought up several times because it's part, it's a big part of the vision test. If you're okay with that, you have made a statement of immensity to eternity. Wrong vision. It gets the X. Absolutely, it gets the X. And you have no one to be mad at or angry at except for yourself. The end. You can go ahead and be angry or pissed off at the messenger. Well, that does nothing. You only have to look in the mirror to see who you should really be angry at. A total unwillingness to change. That's another problem. You see the truth. You see what the correct vision should be. What the correct vision is. What it is. It's of the heart. The heart doesn't condone slaughterhouses. The end. So if you're condoning it still, you're not of the heart. The end. My goodness. Don't even try to say you're all in for the heart. Don't even try. Unless you're willing to change. And I mean change. See with your heart. Otherwise, forget it. Stay in the mind. You're going to see how far that takes you. You are going to see how far it takes you. Right to the finish line. 